When we launched Sense.nano two years ago, the thrust area for the, the symposium that we held was very broad. It was from person to machine and environment and ecosystem. So sensors and sensing approaches for individuals, individual people or individual machines, and large networks in both man-made and environmental ecosystems, bridges, infrastructure, fields, and water, very broad. The second year, in collaboration with both JWAFs and ESI, the Water Center and the Environmental Center on campus, we had a strong focus in sensors and sensing systems for water, environment, and agriculture. This year, based on our collaborations with companies and the, the feedback that we hear and the interest that they have, we've identified that this year's thrust will be in new autonomy and in uh, smart manufacturing. Everything from driverless cars to drones to autonomous flight vehicles that are carrying people. The sensors associated with enabling the data that is necessary to make the decisions to automatically drive those vehicles. And then as well, smart manufacturing. The smart manufacturing, if I were to oversimplify it, is enabled by the mass proliferation of information technology in the manufacturing enterprise. Sensors are a lot cheaper than they used to be. Communications protocols or communication networks are far easier and much lower cost to set up. But it's not always clear how to implement sensing systems or information connectivity systems uh, in the manufacturing enterprise. But the manufacturing enterprise generates a lot of data, and there's a lot of opportunity to use the data that's coming off of machines, to come off of processes, to come off of how people are moving around to improve the yield, the rate of production, the quality of production, and lower cost. The sensors that we're seeing in the manufacturing enterprise are one of the theme areas that will be part of Sense.nano in addition to new autonomy. Sense.nano is a center of excellence powered by MIT Nano. We launched Sense.nano two years ago. MIT Nano is a big piece of equipment. It's a building and phenomenal resources, but it's not, it's not research, it's enabling research. Sense.nano is our first exemplar to hold up as a intellectual center that naturally reaches very broadly across campus. Sensing, sensing systems, approaches to measuring and characterizing the world sits in every single department across MIT. So as an intellectual core, sensing sensors is a natural way for us to reach broadly across campus. So Sense.nano really originated from us asking the question, how do we, with an intellectual research thrust, start to engage people in mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, interested in IoT, the Internet of Things, or big data. Data comes from sensors. The massive infrastructure as a society that we're building up in doing data analytics requires robust sensors to develop that data. So there's a natural industry pool as well in the next several years to what are the new sensors that are coming. Once we solve the machine learning problems associated with the data that's coming off of the sensors that we have now, that industry as a society, we're going to be starved for the new sensors, new ways of interrogating and measuring the world to feed into that infrastructure that we'll have built to be able to go from data to actionable information. That all is predicated and built on novel sensors, novel approaches to sensing, and instrumentation. To, to participate in Sense.nano, you do not need to be a member of MIT Nano. Sense.nano is intended to bring community together, to bring MIT faculty, MIT students, scientists from industry, manufacturers from industry together to ask the questions, what should we be doing in research and in manufacturing associated with sensors and sensing systems? When we launched, the theme of our first annual symposium was everything from man and machine to person and environment had a, a broad outreach across many topical areas. Last year, our focus area was with JWAFs and an ESI, the sort of the water center and the environmental center on campus, 
and looked at sensors and needs associated with agriculture, water, and environment. This year, our focus will be in new autonomy, so driverless cars as an example, uh, pilotless vehicles or drones as an example, and then sensors in the manufacturing environment. 